Oh man, that is really nice. What the heck have the Generation Zero team put together here? What's going on everyone, my name's Tenebris Infinite, and the Generation Zero modding community has done it again, unlocking all of the skins that we've gotten so far in Generation Zero, as well as some that we haven't seen so far. And it's the ones that we haven't seen that we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, but outside of that, also, the Generation Zero community has come together and actually figured out how to get the skins to drop properly. So first off, we're going to cover how to earn the uh, base game skins for yourself here in Generation Zero. So the Generation Zero patch notes said to obtain these skins from rivals, but that was just boldface wrong. Uh, the way to obtain these skins is actually by going off and completing base assaults and base defenses. And uh, from my own personal findings over the past like day of testing, it seems like the higher the level, the higher the chance it is of getting something to drop. So if you want to get these skins relative, well, relatively quickly, all you need to do is go off and complete some level 3 base defenses or level 3 base assaults. Uh, and in the end, you'll get these skins really quickly because there's only like 6 of them. Uh, so in the end, they're bound to drop at any point in time. Now, you can also complete base defenses and base assaults on lower levels, but just from my own personal experience, I got all of my skins from uh, doing the uh, higher level base assaults and base defenses. But then I started taking a look into things. Because I was curious, there was a mentioning of the skins over on the forums related to mods, and I was like, hey man, let's check it out, let's see what's going on. And it turns out that the Generation Zero modding community has unlocked skins from the frickin' future, man! So again, before we get off topic here, uh, you want to go off and complete base defenses and base assaults at the highest level, and you'll unlock those six base game skins really, really quickly. The Neon Grid skin for the Molar looks fantastic. Uh, but, speaking of looking fantastic, let's take a look at these future skins. Now, I'm going to leave the skins that you guys can obtain in the game uh, just, like, unspoiled here. But we're going to look ahead into the crystal ball and look at some of the skins that are going to be coming in future updates for Generation Zero here. So first off, we're having what I'm calling the trademarked skins. So these are skins relating to things that are like brands or bands or something like that in the world of Generation Zero. And so uh, the first thing we've got is the Ash of the Flesh skin for the AG5. And it looks fantastic with the red and everything like that. Ash of the Flesh is like this metal band, so it's very, very fitting. Uh, and then next up, we have, uh, if it'll let me swap to it, number two, there we go, uh, the Splash Freak skin for the PVG. Uh, and this is a really interesting skin. I'm not entirely familiar with Splash Freak, but maybe it's like some sort of a TV show from the time period or something like that. Uh, the colors on this are really, really radical. And then, next up, we have good old classic Bep Cola on the AG4. Bep Cola lets you rock that good old red, white, and blue for any of my American friends out there. But then we've got easily my favorite skins that I think have been added so far to the game. The engraved showpieces, which go to the shotgun as well as the Mauser hunting rifle. And it just looks so clean, dude! I'm hoping for the engraved showpieces that maybe this is like a work in progress and we could have a couple more engraved showpieces. It would be great to have some sort of an engraved AG5 uh, just with like a whole bunch of embroidery on it and stuff. It would look so clean. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to spoil too much more here in the video. Hopefully you guys can enjoy going off and hunting down the base game skins for yourselves. Uh, and also, you now have some skins to look forward to in hopefully the near future of Generation Zero. Uh, again, we've got these embroidered skins that look fantastic. And the kind of 
branded skins uh, from various brands across the world of Generation Zero, which is just so novel. It's excellent. Uh, but either way, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. But for now, I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.